So it is, uh, it is a special grace to be with you today. And for me, every time I accept to go somewhere, I ask uh, the Father, the Eternal Father. Every time I will say Father, it's the Eternal Father. My Father is already in heaven and my mother also. And uh, this is why uh, on earth I talk about the Father. He is the Eternal Father for everyone. Okay? Amen. So, Every time that I come here, you know, I, I ask uh, the Eternal Father, it's Him who gave me the permission to come. Because uh, it's Him who have uh, asked me in the year 2009 to have uh, this new monastery there. And it happened during a Christmas time. And when I was in the uh, the parish who have no priest to celebrate the Christmas Eve. So I went there and we have two masses. One, the first mass was uh, as ordinary one and suddenly we had the Pentecost in this church. So the people was completely touched and transformed by the gift of the Holy Spirit and it was so electrifying that everyone seemed to be on fire. Like me, I was. <laughs> so immediately after we have the second mass and then I would think that because I feel on this fire of love you know I, th I, I, I think that the father will give another experience of this Pentecost he gave in another way an experience so during the mass uh, when I was preaching in the third balcony of this church I hear, I hear, help me, help me. So I asked if we have physician doctor there. They were four, they were young. So they ran and they climbed and they arrived before me. When I arrived, you know, that was like probably at St. Peter, when he ran, he, he ran, you know, when he ran for the, to see the tomb of Jesus. <laughs> because he think that uh, somebody, the, the, the lady said they have taken the, the body of Christ. So he went with St. John. St. John was young. He ran fastly. And he turned around. You know? <laughs> 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 so when I arrived up there, I was like, probably. And suddenly I saw this lady there, laying down. And the doctor tried to reanimate her. After a while, he said to me, It's finished, Father. So I said, How come it's finished? You, how come? She's dead. You cannot do this tonight. This is the birthday. This is the celebration of your birthday. How come? She, you know, you will, you will ask me in another day, which is a better day to die, I will say Christmas. <laughs> but at that moment, I cannot understand nothing, you know. It was out of my, my I will say, boundaries. <laughs> so, I don't know why, but I put my hands over her chest. And I said, in the name of the Lord Jesus, come back. And I heard, ooh. And she came back. But I forgot that I had the microphone on me. So when the sound was, ooh, I passed through the microphone in the church. <laughs> so she was just dancing in front of me, you know, oh and saying, oh, I'm so well, I'm so well, Father, I'm so well. I said, you must go to the hospital. She said, ah, no, no, Father, I'm well, I'm well. I said, listen to me, you must go to the hospital. You will go there, they will find nothing, you will come back. And when you will come back, the door of the church will open, and you will see the steam of the St. Lawrence River entering the church, and you will pass through it, and you will receive the Holy Communion as an apparition. Amen. So she looked at me and goes, with the ambulance, you know. So, during the communion, I was finishing the line of the communion with the people, and suddenly, you know this church has certainly 100 years old, and she had a big back door that was never opened. Oh. And suddenly we heard a crack, you know, and both doors opened. And we can see the scenes of, because it was Christmas. Christmas in Montreal, sometimes it's minus 20. Wow. 
So we can see the steam of the central river entering in the church as a corridor in the middle of the church. You know, and suddenly this lady arrived just in front of me to receive the Holy Communion. So I gave her the Holy Communion and I said, wait here a little bit. And I put the tab in the tabernacle, the body of Jesus, and I came back to her and I took her with my hand. And I said, now we will go to the manger to thank the Lord. Everyone can hear that. So we went there, we kneeled in front of the manger, and we signed. We signed the song was created by the angel of the Lord when Jesus was born. Since that time, this song is everywhere in the world. So we will stand and we will sing it together. Huh? Stand it. This is the song of the angel. It will always be there until the Jesus will come back. Because it's sure. No. Saint-Bélique 
Saint Benedict Joseph Lambert. Wow. So at that moment, I heard the voice of the father saying, stand. So I stand. But you know, I said today the voice of the father, but at that moment, the voice was so original, you know. Everything seemed to be origin from his voice. At that moment, I was not sure if it was Jesus or the Father. Stand, and he's really ordered. Go to your computer. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to my computer, I sat, and he said, listen and write. So he gave me the constitution of our fraternity that was accepted like that, without changing the word. Can you believe that? Wow. The church doesn't change a word with this. And it's something. We have just three order who have the constitution given by the Father that I know in the history of the church. And we are one of the, the three, you know. So at that moment, he was giving me the concession, and after a while, not only the word came, but the vision came. And he asked me to build this new order, who will have two monasteries, one for the woman and one for men. And he want also this fraternity of mine to be spread everywhere by really well renewing the, 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 the Christian Catholic family, you know, by their, the teaching that we will give and also by the rising of the spirituality in our Christian faith, because we are so, so dumb, you know, <laughs> sometimes. So there, he gave me the branch for the family, the branch for the future priest, and the branch also for the consecrated people who will be our sister or men acting by their consecration of life for Jesus in the world. So when I saw this thing, you know, I become nervous. You know, I have, and I said to the father, I cannot do it. It's too much. You know, it's too much. Look at me. Why you don't choose another? You have so many who are young and able to do it with capacity. We have many, they are more intelligent than me. Why are you choosing me? I said, you know, I have eight heart attack. I have two cancer already. I almost died. You know, he knows that. <laughs> I almost died. And now you choose me. And suddenly, you don't have to do too much with the eternal father. I assure you. So, suddenly I was suspended into, like a dust, you know, into universe. I can see around me the planet, the galaxy. I can see all. Oh, it was gorgeous, the stars there, and I was there, and the voice said, You, human race, that I have created with my love. You, that the original sins has broken. And you know, when he said that, I said, I will die. I will, because every cell of my body was vibrating with this voice. And suddenly I hear Michel. When I hear my name, I was entering in the heart of Jesus. So he said, Listen, look, and the, all the vision came back. And he said, everything that my father asked you exists already. So I know that it was the father now. And I have the voice of Jesus and the voice of the father. Really distinct voice. And when I was in the heart of Jesus, you know, I hear the beat of his heart. And I hear also the flowing, you know, the flowing of his blood through his heart. And in his heart, the first flesh in the intern of his heart 
was all the priests, bishops, and popes there. I can see them. And every time that the blood passed, purify them, you know, and make, you know, a new life. And at the second flesh of the heart was all the baptized, and particularly they were the religious people who consecrate their life to Jesus. The third flesh was all the baptized people, and the last part of the ark, the intern, was all humankind who exist on earth, and the external part was all created, all the creation. So every time the blood of Jesus passed and came back, you know, it passed through every one of you. So, and this is, I cannot explain that, you know. So when I hear Jesus saying that, he said, remember, you are just a servant. <coughs> and I said, yes, Father, I will do it. And I came back the end of my computer. <laughs> But he was, he was telling, and I was writing, but he goes so fast, I said, Father, you go too fast, I cannot follow you. You know, I, I, was, uh, I was able to do uh, 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 69, around 69 word per minute on my, because I have the technique for that. But you know, after a while, I cannot follow him. I said, you go too fast, and he was a little bit humorous. I can hear him laughing at the truth. <laughs> and he slowed down. <laughs> because I can follow it. I tell you this story because this is the beginning of the work of the Holy Spirit when he came for this creation of, uh, you know, our new fraternity. But the Holy Spirit comes often in your life. First of all, he comes by your being. You exist because of the gift of God. Nobody exists on earth without the, the permission of the Father. He is the one who creates your soul. His breath is given to you when your mom and your dad, by love, who are united together in one body. Oh, some people will say to me, Father, I was raped. And the baby came. But I said to them, you know, if this baby is there, it's because of your love. Amen. And you can heal yourself through this baby. Every time you will see this baby, you will see that he is there for you. And the ray, it's a violent thing. It's a evil thing. Everyone who has, you know, suffer of this, this must be healed and delivered from this spirit. But in the same time, this baby who born will be always there for you until the time you will die. He will be like your shepherd sometime. So inside of this, the Father, you know, gave many things to us. The first thing was our existence. And he sent Jesus. He sent him because he saw the humanity. Remember the story of Abraham. Remember the story of Noah. He sent him because he knows that humanity will be crushed by the devil. So we are not fighting against human. We are, we are fighting against the devil spirit in the air, in the, in the sea. You know, when I make exorcism with the Latin prayer, we exorcise the spirit of the air, of the sea, of the earth, and of the fire. And every time we do it, we know that the battle is not with this person who are in need. Because for this person, the kingdom of God arrived to deliver her or him. But we know something, that we have the victory of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in our own life. How 
by the second greatest gift that you receive, the new life, the new life of Jesus when you were baptized. Every baptized receive the new life of Christ. You know? So you are all baptized. But we don't think about that. And you know, you are made stronger to resist to the tempter. When you are confirmed in the Holy Spirit who come in you. And it's the news of that. It's St. Paul. And Jesus said before, we will come in you and you, we will make our home in you. So you are the temple of the Holy Spirit by the confirmation, the gift, the seal, and the heal, the healing power of the Holy Spirit. You recognize now that you are gifted. You are gifted with the grace of the Lord. And when Jesus showed me, you know, all the baptized, he showed me the chosen one that he had asked to be with him for the others who doesn't hear about him. And this world today is under attack. It was never like that in the past. It's under attack by the devil one. The devil has managed during several years now, I will say almost 100 years, his time is almost finished. We will see the final battle soon. You know? Satan has prepared a worldwide government through different nations, 10 of them at the beginning, but seven was under the tent. They are the beast in the apocalypse. So during this time he had prepared also the weapon to destroy one third of the humanity. Now they are making in laboratory. They can just uh, three weeks ago we, it was on the news they have put a, a, a gene of a spider and have put it in pig. They are, you know, the spider represents a satanic symbol and the pigs also. I don't say the pigs are not good. It's a symbol for satanic cult. So, and with that, they said they will be resisting more to the flu. But this is not the goal. This is what they say to make the people, oh, you know. Amazing. You know, you know that the devil has the power to change something ugly has beautiful. The proof of that? Halloween. <laughs> Everything is ugly in Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he did when he wants to us commit sins. He proposed something he bad. No, no, no. Father, it's just a little sin. No, it's a sin. It can be little, but every time you are looking at this, you are seduced because it seems to be not bad. He changed the thing. He played in our psychology. He played in our intelligence. He played in our imagination. And he cat, he grabbed us with our senses. So when you are looking what's happened now in the world, Satan has prepared this world. 
to be under a big attack. And now we are almost entering in this time. This is why we are here today. Because the Virgin Mary came so much and so often in the church. She came, you know, by the gift of the Holy Spirit. The, the Holy Spirit is the, the, the soul of the church. You know, He animates us, sanctifies us, gave us, you know, everything that we need to follow Jesus. We invoke the Holy Spirit on the bread and wine that they, they may become for us the body and blood of Christ. It's the Holy Spirit, you know, and during several times the Virgin Mary appeared, particularly during, you know, the miraculous medal. Who is the medal for the end of the bad time? This is the end of the bad time that I talk. The end of time will, will happen. We will have some others here, you can be sure. But this time is the end of the bad time. The miraculous medal. And the, the real miraculous medal behind they have 12 stars. And each star has to be on the side of the top of the cross. Because the satanic cult now put a star over the vertical arm of the cross. This is not the miraculous medal. You know? So we tell. The real one is the one made by under the Council of the Virgin Mary when she appeared in 1813 to Catherine Labour in France. And after that we have many, many apparitions. Lazarette, Bowman, Panu, Pont. Pont, Pont Man, you know, Boring, Pont Man. And we have also in Harlem, you know, Our Lady of Knox. We have uh, in Guadalupe. Guadalupe is it's one of the in, most important apparitions, I will say, for America. Yes. All America. <coughs> Mexico, United States, and Canada. You know why? Because of the abortion. When the Guadalupe appeared, you know, she asked to stop the killing of the baby. And it was a reason why she appeared. And now we need her as then we have never been back. Because just in your country, we talk about million babies killed every year. And in Canada it's the same thing. This is terrible. Satan acts now by abortion, by drugs. In Canada the drugs are legalized. And they legalize marijuana and they were not finished to write this law and vote it at the chamber that the day after the Minister of Health announced that he's looking, she's reflecting to have every drug legal. Can you believe that? <clears throat> Satan, Satan working. He had also with euthanasia to kill the elder and to kill also the people who are not performing according to their, you know, boundary or characteristic. Another fact, he had also and prepared a nuclear war. It will come because of the lack of many of our baptized now acting more under the influence of Satan than the guidance of the Holy Spirit because of their sinful, sinful life. And he needs a head, a political head control this worldwide government. He needs also a false prophet to unify all the, the, the religion. You know? And he will need a day to sit on St. Peter's chair. Because this is the final fight. This fight is really important for him because he is pride. And what, 
this is primeless made him so raging against the Catholic faith. And he knows that St. Peter had the promise from Jesus himself that never the hell will control the church. You know? And he wanted to sit on this chair. He's burning for that. And preparing everything for that. This is why we have so many scandals in the church now. He, 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 he entered in the church, the smoke of Satan entered in the church. Paul Pope said that. Entering the church, you know, by the priest. Was not dedicated enough for their vocation. By different kind of stuff. And this is important. We must realize that this day is coming. And we must realize that the work and the, the announcement that we are doing today will be for you very important because you are here. You know, the, during the rosary, I will say that, the Virgin Mary came. She came with Saint Joseph. Yeah. And I asked her when I was praying the rosary, why Jesus doesn't came? She just laughed, you know, and said, you will see, you will receive him at the Holy Eucharist. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm just too much, uh, you know, uh, not enough intelligent. <laughs> so, this is why she laughed. <laughs> so, we are all chosen by heaven. Please, please, you are not alone. You are a guardian angel with you. Your guardian angel has you through my humble person. They ask you to think of them. Because, you know, we act in our life without thinking so much to our guardian angel. He is there in every day. It's him who breaks the light of, in your heart when Jesus wants to talk to you, to give you good decision, good discernment, to give you how to act, what you have to do. If you want to please, please God, what it is today that I can do with the, the grace that you receive. He carry for you. He is the messenger for you from the heart of Jesus and from all the Holy Family and from all the Holy Trinity. He brings this grace in your heart. And sometimes, you know, you are doing something and you are, and so does this come? It's yes. came. You want a lie? How come? Or the angel. Your watch an angel. So we must break our water angel. And the fire that we are about to, to reflect today, it's the gift of the Holy Spirit for the church because he has not only sent, you know, the Virgin Mary, the Father has sent the Virgin Mary with Jesus and the Holy Spirit to us, but he has also made prophets among you to hear the will of the Father in this time, in this particular time. This is important. The work of the Holy Spirit. When I will come back, I will talk about two major, three major, even in the church. And I will talk about this before to, to give you the last message that we have given to you. So thank you.